Hi, I'm Camilla Dalarup and you're watching utterlyrecipes.com. Hi, I'm Camilla Dalarup. Now we all know how much time it takes to get Christmas right, from decorating the tree to sorting out the festive menu. And although we spend hours on end getting everything ready, there's always so much to do last minute. That's why I have joined forces with Red Tractor Beef and Lamb to launch Festive Fairies. It's all about making Christmas a little bit easier, but still with plenty of festive sparkle. So today I'm going to show you a really quick and easy dish to cook to give you a break from that usual Christmas food, a gorgeously festive lamb tagine with pomegranates. It's a really simple dish and what's so wonderful about it is that you can bring it out from the freezer just in time for all your Christmas guests. For this recipe you need lean boneless shoulder of lamb cut into cubes, oil, onions, ginger, turmeric and paprika, garlic, salt and pepper, saffron, hot water, apricots, thyme and a cinnamon stick, fresh coriander and pomegranate seeds. Right, let's get started. First of all, choose a big dish like this which can be used on the hob and in the oven. Right, let's start by putting some oil in there. We're going to add the chopped onions. Then we're going to add in the ginger, turmeric and paprika and salt and pepper. And just let that to simmer for one to two minutes to infuse the flavours. Next we're going to add the lamb. Now I'm using shoulder, but you could use neck fillet or leg. And then add in the garlic. Now mix it all up and make sure it's all covered in the flavoured oil. Now just leave that to cook for four to six minutes till the lamb is brown all over. Now great meals start with good quality ingredients. So when you're out shopping for lamb, Always look out for a quality mark, like this Red Tractor lamb logo. The logo shows you that the meat is farm assured, so you can know it's been responsibly produced. So when you're happy with the colour of the meat, you can add the water and the saffron. Just bring to the boil and then reduce the heat. Then just cover and simmer for two hours. Or you could just pop it in the oven and then you could just carry on doing all your Christmas preparations. Now 20 minutes before the end of cooking time, we're just going to add the cinnamon stick, the thyme and the apricots and of course the fresh coriander. We're just going to give it a stir. And then we're going to leave it to cook for the last 20 minutes. It really is that easy. Right, we're almost there. Just before serving though, just remove the cinnamon stick and the thyme. And then we're ready to dish up. I must tell you, it smells absolutely delicious. I'm serving it with couscous today, but you could serve it either with rice or couscous. And then we're just going to sprinkle the pomegranates on top. Doesn't that just look absolutely festive? Right, as easy as that. Now, if you don't want to serve it immediately, you could just pop it into the freezer and then it's ready there for any time over the Christmas period. If you are freezing it though, please don't add the pomegranate seeds till after you've brought it out and reheated it. And of course, make sure it's piping hot before serving it and then just sprinkle the pomegranates on top. For some more delicious but easy dishes, like spiced beef and coriander koftas, and of course more of my festive fairy fixes, log on to our website and let us help you make this Christmas period a little bit easier.